Welcome back. Next, let's take a look at how to create tables. So this is what we had back at the initialization up the top of this notebook, if you remember. And this is called table notation. And we have the sample syntax here. So it's round brackets followed by square brackets, um, which may be empty in the case of unkey tables or else populated with our keyed columns. And then the rest of our columns here on the right hand side after the square brackets. So let's look at the unkeyed version of this. So I'm creating a table called trade. I've got three columns, all of them are unkeyed. So you'll see there's nothing inside the square brackets. And I'm simply listing them with the name of the column, a colon, then my list that I want that column to be populated with. And then I'll separate these columns with a semicolon to indicate it's a brand new column. So if we define this, you'll see I got three columns, sim, size and price, and we have three rows for each. Now note if I had it made one of these a different length, so say we add a fourth value to the sim column, I get a length error. So just note all your columns must be of the same length. We do however have the option of mixing up atomic and list values. So if I add a fourth column here and I'm going to call it EX and I'm just going to pass it one symbol, um, nicey, you'll see it gets populated on every row. Now if I had made this again, something else. So like a list with two elements long, that wouldn't work. But again, if I had to do three, it would work. So I'm able to pass either um, an atom or a list of length three. And that's because the rest of my columns are of length three. Now, when we want to create a table that's just one row long, so we just have an atom for every value. If we try and use the table notation like this, just listing these atoms, we'll get a rank error. So we need to make sure one of these entries is a list. So I can do that using the enlist command we learned about in the previous module. So you'll see this is forcing this here to become a list of one element long rather than an atom value. And then you'll see I'm able to create my table. Um, and I could have ran that and list on any of the columns. And I can also run it on all three if I want to. Um, it's down to you, but both of these will work. I just need to make sure at least one of them is enlisted in order to create my table of one row long. Now I can also create an empty table. Um, I can do this um, and make my columns untyped. So that would just be defining them as an empty list like this. So you might do this in the case where you're not sure what your types are gonna be, maybe for some incoming data. Um, and just to see what they look like, you could create them as an empty list. And you'll see here, if I run meta on that table, I get my three columns named, but T is empty. So I don't have any types yet. Um, and then if I wanted to create an empty table, but I wanted to type the columns, we can use the casting syntax we've seen before. So I'm casting this first column to a symbol, the second one to a long, and the third one to a float. And you'll see here, by comparison, T is now populated which means any update to that table, the data must be of this type here for each column. So that's defining unkey tables from scratch. Um, to do key tables, very similar, just a slight difference is that we now will fill in the square brackets with whatever the keyed columns are gonna be. So this example here is our unkey table. We're just gonna lift our sim column and paste it inside the square brackets. And we don't need the semicolon anymore. So you'll see here now I've got my key table and the difference being I can tell that with this vertical dotted line. And you can list multiple columns inside that square bracket. So for example, if I wanted to have two key columns like this, I could do that here. Okay, um, so have a go with this exercise to so create a quote table that looks like the following and then create another table quote key. And I'll see you in the next video.